Okay guys, and like I was saying, what you can do here is you can remove these fields if you want to. I just created two required fields, email address, first name, as you can see, it's a required field. Um, preferred method that they want to subscribe at. I put a little message here, all you gotta do is edit and put the message there. Then the next thing you want to do, you can also add an image here um, also if you want to, which makes it look a little bit more fancy. There's so much that goes into MailChimp, but I'm going to just make this simple for you guys today. So we're going to create the embed code here. And once you create your embed code, if it's not a required field, it won't show up here. Um, so what you might have to do is choose this box, include all fields. If it's not required, then it will show all of your fields. But um, I just, I'm just capturing email address first name they can choose their own method what I'm gonna do at this point is copy all of this information and then I'm gonna paste this into my website so I've opened up a notepad and I already have all this information in here so I pasted um, pasted this into notepad now if you guys wanna see exactly how this works um, there is a form um, I went over and copied this into um, um, an editor that I usually use so as you can see let's look at the source code this is the exact same source code that I copied so I copied this from my notepad into this so I can see how it looks right and this is how it's gonna look you know, don't worry about it being this big it's gonna conform to the size of your uh, the size of your your website so if your column is pretty small it's gonna fit in that column so and you if you're an expert then you can go in here and set the form width um, for the size of your form whatever it is to conform to your website but if you're a novice don't worry about it just go ahead and copy the code out of here and um, just paste it into WordPress or your website or whatever you're using and um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that in another video but this was really simple on how to get that going so once you get once you create this code what you want to do now is you want to create your autoresponders so you can come in here and an autoresponder like I mentioned is just a message that's gonna go out to all of the people on your list so now uh, and it goes out automatically so say you want to create you know you have a seven day video series um, you want to create an autoresponder so you hit add autoresponder you choose the list where you want this to go to we, um, of course you know you choose sample list the list that you just created um, right under here you choose how many days afterwards you want it to go out put the name of your autoresponder and save it I've already done that and I named it day one video okay and um, I put it here and I created a new folder under here so I can sort of my, my, my autoresponders put them in different groups so this is the sample that we created I put this in here all you need to do at this point now is go through this is gonna go out one day after they sign up into your list and just create your email and it's, it's really self-explanatory it's gonna ask you which list you want to send it to it's the sample list because we already created the list as you remember in the first um, earlier and you want to send to your entire list or you can segment it um, that's a more advanced um, feature um, you go ahead and put your from reply to your your message that you want to go out and you, you go next these are more advanced features over here you can integrate it with Twitter and Facebook some of the templates that I had that I create use my regular template here um, and you use your template create your email edit create the email that you want and once that's done here you can go ahead and go to the next page after you create your email create your HTML um, plain text it's gonna ask you for that you see here it, it confirms everything that you need and just hit start autoresponder and then once that happens then you're done so your autoresponder is done it's automatically gonna send out when someone subscribes to this uh, this is gonna have your day one video in there you can put your video in there or whatever you want to do so this was a, just a quick uh, video guys uh, two-part series on how to get your um, uh, your MailChimp um, autoresponder and campaign set up so we're gonna go into some more detail if you want some more detailed information on how to get MailChimp up and running how to integrate it into your website shoot me an email lincolnparks at gmail.com I don't have a problem helping you out I'll create a video for it and get you up and running so that's it guys take care see you at the top